growth hormone deficiency slash pituitary dwarfism. Definition Growth hormone deficiency, GHD, also known as dwarfism or pituitary dwarfism, is a condition caused by insufficient amounts of growth hormone in the body. Children with GHD have abnormally short stature with normal body proportions. GHD can be present at birth, congenital, or develop later, acquired. Pituitary dwarfism, or growth hormone deficiency, is a condition in which the pituitary gland does not make enough growth hormone. This results in a child's slow growth pattern and an unusually small stature, below average height. Causes Growth hormone deficiency in childhood commonly has no identifiable cause, idiopathic, and adult onset GHD is commonly due to pituitary tumors and their treatment or to cranial irradiation. A more complete list of causes includes Mutations of specific genes, example GHRH, GH1 Congenital diseases such as Prader-Willi syndrome, Turner syndrome, or short stature homeobox gene deficiency Congenital malformations involving the pituitary, example septooptic dysplasia, posterior pituitary ectopia Chronic kidney disease Intracranial tumors in or near the cella turcica, especially craniopharyngioma. Damage to the pituitary from radiation therapy to the head, e.g. For leukemia or brain tumors, from surgery, from trauma, or from intracranial disease, e.g. hydrocephalus. Autoimmune inflammation, hypophysitis. Ischemic or hemorrhagic infarction from low blood pressure, Sheehan syndrome, or hemorrhage pituitary apoplexy. Sign and symptoms Slow growth or absence of growth Short stature, below the 5th percentile compared to other children of the same age and sex Absent or delayed sexual development during puberty Headaches Symptoms of other pituitary hormone deficiencies that may coexist with growth hormone deficiency Absent or delayed sexual development during puberty Increased urination and amount of urine Excessive thirst Facial abnormalities can be present in a small group of children with GHD, typically caused by pituitary defects. Classification Growth hormone deficiency can be congenital or acquired in childhood or adult life. It can be partial or complete. It is usually permanent, but sometimes transient. It may be an isolated deficiency or occur in association with deficiencies of other pituitary hormones. The term hypopituitarism is often used interchangeably with GH deficiency but more often denotes GH deficiency plus deficiency of at least one other anterior pituitary hormone. When GH deficiency, usually with other anterior pituitary deficiencies, is associated with posterior pituitary hormone deficiency, usually diabetes insipidus, the condition is termed panhypopituitarism. Pathophysiology As an adult ages, it is normal for the pituitary to produce diminishing amounts of GH and many other hormones, particularly the sex steroids. Physicians therefore distinguish between the natural reduction in GH levels which comes with age, and the much lower levels of true deficiency. Such deficiency almost always has an identifiable cause, with adult onset GHD without a definable cause, idiopathic GH deficiency, extremely rare. GH does function in adulthood to maintain muscle and bone mass and strength, and has poorly understood effects on cognition and mood. Diagnosis A physical exam and measurement of height, weight, arms and leg lengths are the first steps to diagnosis, in addition to thorough medical history. Blood tests to measure the levels of growth hormone in the body as well as the levels of other hormones. Imaging tests including X-rays and MRI of the head may be helpful in narrowing down the underlying disorder causing GHD by revealing abnormalities of the hypothalamus or the pituitary glands. Management GH deficiency is treated by replacing GH with daily injections under the skin or into muscle. Until 1985, Growth hormone for treatment was obtained by extraction from human pituitary glands collected at autopsy. Since 1985, recombinant human growth hormone, RHGH, 
is a recombinant form of human GH produced by genetically engineered bacteria, manufactured by recombinant DNA technology. Child Children requiring treatment usually receive daily injections of growth hormone. Most pediatric endocrinologists monitor growth and adjust dose every three to six months and many of these visits involve blood tests and x-rays. Treatment is usually extended as long as the child is growing, and lifelong continuation may be recommended for those most severely deficient. Nearly painless insulin syringes, pen injectors, or a needle-free delivery system reduce the discomfort. Injection sites include the biceps, thigh, buttocks, and stomach. Injection sites should be rotated daily to avoid lipoatrophy. Adults It may be appropriate in diagnosed adult onset deficiency, where a weekly dose approximately 25% of that given to children is given. Lower doses again are called for in the elderly to reduce the incidence of side effects and maintain age-dependent normal levels of IGF-1. Side effects Headaches Joint pain and muscle pain Fluid retention, and carpal tunnel syndrome Mild hypertension Visual problems Nausea and vomiting Paresthesia Antibody formation Reactions at the injection site Rarely, benign intracranial hypertension So guys, thanks for watching my video you can like and comment on my video but don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel to watch quality content like this. Thank you guys.